Right, I'm going to try and replicate this here. We're off to a great start. I tend to kind of just avoid doing sketching and writing now because it's just, it's not really worth it if you get something like that. Anything you could do that would just make my hand do what I want it to do and yeah. to be able to sign yeah. my name would be an incredible thing. How do we even just begin to help her overcome this, this particular symptom of her tremors and helping her be able to regain her writing ability, her drawing ability? You know, I, I don't think we're ever going to get that back 100%. You know, my challenge is, is uh, I mean, it's immense. Someone's made a spoon. It actually counteracts the tremors you get from Parkinson's. So the spoon actually right. vibrates in opposition to how your hand might be shaking. And it's, therefore, it is steady. I'm making a, a very rough prototype. And what this board does is I can connect into it through these wires, these tiny coin cell motors. So these motors will vibrate. Hello. Hi, I'm Alison. It's affecting something. I don't quite know what's happening. Something is going on with it. What this is doing is it's short circuiting whatever feedback loop there is between the brain and the hand that's causing the tremors. I'm on to something, right? I'm on, I'm on to something. makes me forget that I have a tremor. <laughs> I haven't drawn one of them for a long time. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> casual about it. Yeah, I'm just going to draw a straight line. I've actually just written my name for like the first time in ages. I can't it. Mum, it's called the Emma. It's got my name on it. <laughs>